Happy 12 days of Stitch Miss, friends. My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to Stitch Miss Day 11. It's the end of Stitch Miss Eve. Are you sad? I'm kind of sad. But here we are. We're going to drive through. I've got two free to small business for you. The oven's to open. It's going to be a great day. So let's just dive into business number one. Featured small business is Norgrove Enterprises. This is a husband and wife team, John and Julie, that live in a hundred year old cabin located in the redwood forests of Northern California. They started their artistic Etsy shop back. They wanted to leave the corporate grind and, and it had desires to live a simple life in harmony with nature and have found the love of ice dyeing. So it's a little twist. It's a little different than our normal dyeing methods um, for floss and fabrics, but it creates some unique results. So here we are over in their Etsy shop. And what makes them unique, like I said, is they use, it's a dye bath situation. So let me show you, I'm going to show you how that works first, because they've got a great video. So they've got Ada, they're, they're right now they're dying Ada. And let's just show you one of a, oh my gosh, look at this portal pink. It's all one of a kind because as with ice, with ice dyeing, everything creates a unique piece of fabric. There's no way to make two that are alike. So you can see that's one piece of fabric that takes all this attention and time and work just to make this piece. There's the ice and it's powder. It's matched. So there they are working. So this one piece of fabric that measures 29 inches by 37 inches. So if you have a huge blanket size project that you want a pink bat, look how gorgeous that piece of 14 count Ada is. So like I said, they have gorgeous collection of Ada's all unique, all one of a kind, and they love to do custom work. So if you were looking for you know, but understanding that it's going to be custom that, um, you know, they would love to work with you. The other thing that is super unique is their floss. They, because of their dyeing method, they can create some beautiful colored combinations. So they have gorgeous, gorgeous skeins of a hundred percent cotton in all different shades. I mean, how gorgeous would this t look at all those different variegations in that blue. It would be a great monochromatic piece. This is something where you would come and you would maybe, oh, cherry Kool-Aid, what a fun name. But look, what a fun, you know, all red sampler. But if you wanted a little red sampler with the fun, you know, pump you up, variegated. There's the pinks and reds, such a pretty, pretty twist on a solid. And then if solids, if, if you're more adventurous and you want brighter and bigger, bolder colors mixed together, they have a great which I think is super fun and a um, horoscope <laughs> um, collection where they have a color for every single one, which is very, very fun. And then, like I said, it's just so much things. So they do have uh, lots of other things, ribbon and lace they are doing, which is super fun. So if you have a unique need for a hand dyed, hand painted, art, lots of different things for you to check over at John and Julie's shop. And I just want to bring you over to, they do have an Instagram where you can see here, Julie is stitching. And then that you can see like they take their inspiration to, to create their colorways from gorgeous nature, redwood bark, cherry Kool-Aid and the green algae. It's just a beautiful color combination. And so their Instagram is definitely super fun to follow and see you know, what they're working on, what new things they have coming up. So let me show you what they sent us in real life. Don't John and Julie have some really, really unique and 
interesting twist on the dyeing. I love, I love that they took what I consider like a traditional tie dye situation and they have beautiful, like you need to scroll out their Etsy shop because there was some clothing that they were dyeing for and other fabrics that you could use maybe other ways. But so what they've sent us is, a, 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 look at this packaging. It's so sweet. So we're going to take a look at some of the things that they have in person. They have sent us three, four of what a unique packaging. So it's like a cardboardy tube in each skein. I know I'm a little late, so the sun is here now. This is a gorgeous color. It's called Leveled Up Libra. And so it's a beautiful multiple pinks and blues. Oh, this is a pretty one. Is this? No, Flame and Hot Water. Look at that. Okay, there we go. Gorgeous color. Ooh, this is a nice one. It's called a Monastery Manuscript. All right, hold on. Beautiful. And then last but not least, and so this comes with, it's 100% cotton embroidery flossed, 8 meters, which measures out to be about 8.7 yards. Look at all those pretty colors. Little pop of pink. This one's called Wonders of Oz. So fun. But I've never seen packaging like this. It's so unique. Like I said, it's a little cardboard tube. They use DMC white floss to hand dye. So that is their gorgeous floss and a beautiful thread conditioner, beeswax that they make themselves from in California. Mm, smells lovely. And it's a beautiful package. Beautiful. And then they sent us two fabrics to look at. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to fight the sun so it doesn't blind you. So two fabrics to look at. So let's, and a ribbon. Ah, so pretty. So this is, oh, look at that ribbon. And it's nice, like satin ribbon. Oh, that is so special. So pretty. Oh my gosh. To use with your finishing, that would be a gorgeous addition to your little finishing toolbox to make. Mm, beautiful. All right, so this is just their cotton. I'm sure it's just cotton like Kona or something to the like fabric. Look at that. So hand dyed by Julie and John. I know the light. Hold on. Oh, but the sun shining through can show you the colors. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So that to get that texture, to get that tie dye, that's just an iced dye bath. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And of course it's pink. You know, I love it. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Something special for sure. And this is a beautiful piece of their Ada. So I'm sure it's 14 count because everything they had in there was 14 count, but it definitely does shrink. Um, as we know, when you dye, hand dyed, a 14 count is always just a little bit tighter. So this is a beautiful color. Wow. So unique. You just would have to find the, the perfect placement of your stitch and to, to figure out what's going to go on there. But how gorgeous is that? It's nice and tight. So it's still your Ada, but it's nice and tight now. So the holes, but it's, it's nice and soft too. Gorgeous. So thank you so much to John and Julie for participating in 12 Days of Stitchmas. I hope you go and check out their shop, show them some love, and let's move on to business number two. Small business is That Salty Stitch. That Salty Stitch has a, her own twist on the art of needlepoint. So Jenna is a diehard Texas tech fan. Lives in Texas, is a wife, a mom of two kids under four years old, and she wanted to needlepoint. Now, she was loving going into the shop, but she, the hand-painted needlepoints can be quite expensive, and so it was a little cost prohibitive for her to get into that hobby, and so what she decided to do is to take matters into her own hands, and now she has a business where she does custom printed canvases for needlepoint. So it's still on the same mesh, 
but it's printed instead of hand painted. It's a lot more affordable. It's a great gateway into this art. So let me show you some of the things she has. Now, that salty stitch, let me tell you right now, she's a little bit sassy, a little bit salty. So just beware. Um, it's all in good fun. So let me go ahead and show you, like I said, let me take you to her Etsy shop. She's got lots of different, she's got over 250 canvases right now ready to go on Etsy. And so we're going to drill into the Christmas because here we are in 12 days of Stitchmas. I just think that's the place to start. So what she has here is you can just get an ornament. So this is just a small, maybe you want to, oh, look at this cutie pie little elf. And so he's just going to come on a canvas. And so you get to select your option, which of these fantastic graphics you want. The elf girl, brown, gingerbread, Santa, all the things. And it's going to be a sweet little small stitch. You can see right here, she gives you the details. The little Christmas ornaments are printed on 18 mesh and they measure about three and a half by four inches. You can get them on 13 mesh, which is basically, you know, bigger holes. It's equivalent kind of to an ADA calculation. A little, just a, it's a little bit easier. If you are new to Needlepoint, we are definitely going to talk about it when, when, we show, when I show you some of the things that she sent us. So that's a, such a cute option just as a little entry way into Needlepoint. It's a great little gift if you wanted to give, you know, a teenager a try Needlepoint. And a Christmas ornament might be fun or what she also has, which is a great kit. Speaking of teenagers is this needlepoint key fob kit, which is adorable. So it, you get to totally customize it with initials and or names, whatever works for you, whatever you want, you can pick, you know, a, a gingham background and an angle background, a leopard background, and you customize it and it works. She works with you and you can choose either 13 or 18 count mesh and it comes with the key fob hardware. So, so perfect at, like I said, great entry, but she has so many unique things to choose from. She has Christmas and lots of different sayings. Um, this cute little Monopoly game board I thought was very unique. I hadn't seen that before. She also did collabs with a couple artists. So, you know, some maybe funky art, which is, look at this gal. She is fantastic. So this was a collaboration with Cynthia Josephine Art. And so it's a gorgeous printed canvas on 13 count. You can always change. Like I said, Jenna is willing and able and, uh, and loves to do custom work. So you come down here to custom. And she's got custom listings ready to go. Whether you want the small, a large, an extra large, um, one of the eyeglass cases. Let's see if she has a picture of one of those. I don't know if she does. No. But it's very, very fun. And then, you know, you the sky's the limit. Whether you want a name or a picture of something, she is willing and excited to help you. So another place to follow Jenna is over here on Instagram. And this is where she does show you, you know, she just launched a, any Swifties out there. She just launched this Merry Merry Swiftmas um, little stitch, which is adorable for the Swifties in your life. And then she just has lots of, she does a lot of these pop art pictures, Halloween girls, so much fun. And another Swift picture. So it's just a lot of fun and a unique twist on the art of Needlepoint. So let me show you some of the things that, that she sent us to look at. Jenna is so fun. And I love that she makes the entry into Needlepoint a little bit more cost agreeable friendly cost friendly right because needlepoint looks like it's so much fun and it is so let me show you so like i said let me show you some of the things that jenna sent us it's just so fun she did send us remember i was showing you the needlepoint kit and so she sent us this you, you so you can we get the kit you can get the canvas and the doodah you need to to finish your um key fob but you could also, for a small fee, just request for her to kit it up completely, which would mean you'd get the floss too. So if you wanted like a two-color gingham. So this is how it comes. She's got a little sticker and she wraps everything in tissue. So it's a nice, let me see if I can slide it without messing up the sticker. Oh, I can. Oh, so, and it comes fully kitted. So you've got this blue, and, blue, white, and gray gingham. This is the tapestry needle you need. This is 13 point mesh. So it's probably a 22. That's fantastic. So this is a fun little kit. 
This is the kit, key fob kit. It would be a great entry to learn to see if needle points your jam. So she also sent us a couple other stitches that I want to show you. So she's got them wrapped up again in the tissue. So nice, but I can't, I can't save this one. So here's some of the ones brighter with a bit of bubbly. So fun. So like I said, she loves the sassy and salty sayings. Sorry, I keep, I keep moving you around. I'm running away this up. I'm shooting a little later this morning. Usually I'm shooting about 6.30 in the morning. So the sun is coming right through that window. So I'm trying to get it, get her done before we get done. So look at this. So there's a cute canvas with just a big old initial. It looks like a little varsity letter. So you could make this into anything, frame it, switch it around, make it an ornament. Champagne for breakfast. Look at that fun canvas. So, so fun. And then she does have, this is a great, um, she just launched this and you have to have time to get it, which it'll be so cute. How fun would this be to try? Will you be wine? She's got conversation hearts and y'all do. So, and you could also, I'm sure if there was something custom you wanted to say, maybe it's your like, little special booze name or a little saying that you guys say to each other. I mean, how cute would this be? And she could custom color it for you, no problem. But what I wanted to show you is Jenna sent me something, like a, speaking of custom, you know I love I love my Clemson, right? Um, she, she doesn't do like copyrighted college for, for good reasons, because you're not supposed to, right? But she does colors. So oh, this is, salty stitch, this is my monogram. I wanted a monogram, and so I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna make this into an ornament. So I am going to, you can see I'm stitching. Can you see? Maybe there. So you can see, this was this is my first needlepoint ever. And so it's on, this is 18 count mesh. And so it's just, I don't even know the terminology of what stitch I'm doing. It's just basically half a cross stitch, <laughs> one going one way, and then I'm just filling it in. And what you use, it's very similar to like what you would use on those mesh bags. Okay, Hot Mess Express, right? And so I put them on my drops and cards, or I left them in a hot mess, because I already finished the purple. That was before. But you can see that it's just the pearl cotton. It's just DMC pearl cotton, and you just use the whole strand. The last then, thing I wanted to show you was that Jenna also has this fantastic 12 Days of Christmas series of ornaments that you can get in her Etsy shop, which are super fun, super unique. And I, I have day one here to show you. I just love it. It is on 13 count mesh, super easy. You just use the DMC Pearl Cotton, one strand, do your little half cross stitch, tent stitch. Is that what it's called? Maybe. And you're just gonna finish it up. It's gonna be so, so sweet. So I love this one. I'm going to definitely start adding these to my collection once I finish one of the series of 12 Days of Christmas that I'm working on. So let's go ahead and dive in, right into the advents. So I've got Day 11 from the 12 Days of Christmas from Tiger Lily. Now this one, the story behind it is I wanted a pair of scissors in my box. Um, you always need scissors. I love to have scissors. I love to have a good pair of scissors just in my toolbox, but then sometimes special projects, big projects, I'm taking it to go. I like to have a special pair in them as well. So I wanted to source from Kelmscott Designs. Now Kelmscott Designs is a small business by Paula up in Canada, and she has gorgeous scissors. I know you've seen lots of her unique scissors. They're all unique. They're all copyrighted, one of a kind. So these are not your Amazon. You can't sell them anywhere like that. Um, so I picked out what I thought were my favorite from her catalog. And these are her Susan B. Anderson gold scissors. Now these come in three different colors, but I picked the gold because I thought it was regal and beautiful and it just screamed elegant Christmas to me. But look at the details on that and how you know that it's Kelmscott is written on the inside of the scissor. Just so you know, um, you know, like I said, you can't sell them on a, on Amazon. You can't buy them on those, you know, you know what sites I'm talking about. So Kelm's got designs are right there printed on the blade. And that's what lets you know that these are truly Kelm Scott scissors made by her. So I hope you enjoy those. I was excited to pick those out and add them to the bunch for this year's advent. 
So let's go ahead and grab into my Legacy Fiber Arts. Ooh, look at that yumminess. Oh my gosh, that needs to be a sweater. Okay, so I think so far, oh, I love a good blue sweater. Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, that is the gorgeous Legacy Fiber Arts. Now we're gonna go right into Colorado Cross Stitcher. As I'm speed racing so that the sun doesn't catch me. Oh, such a sweet chart called Create. Now this will be a super sweet, small no. ginger quilter. It's a card. I guess. I don't know. We shall see. What could it be? I don't know. It's two quilt patterns of your choice from Cluck Cluck So. I can't show you the card because it gives you the coupon code. How fun is that? It was close. It was close. <laughs> Today's word of the day is tree. Yay! Um, Use the word tree in your comments down below to be entered into the daily prize giveaway. You're gonna, the, we've got a little assortment package from Jenna, a little needle point start you into. And then we've also got an assortment package from John and Julie. And then both of those things are also going into the grand prize. It just keeps getting bigger and better. I put it in a new box yesterday because I was overflowing. So I am going to do a little grand prize walkthrough at some point, just, just so you can see all the goodies that are in there. But use the word tree down below in your comments to be entered into the daily prize giveaway. There's two of those today. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel as well as use the word tree in your crosswood puzzle. We only have one more day. Tomorrow's the finale. Are you excited? Oh, it's gonna, I mean, it's, it's just, gonna, I just, it's going to be over, but it's going to be sad, but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So happy Monday, if you're watching this on the day of, but if not, happy day, whatever you're watching it. Happy 12 days of Stitch Fist, day 11, and I will see you tomorrow, friends. Happy stitching.